As we hit record numbers statewide and across the Bay Area, are we headed for another statewide lockdown? Let's bring in Dr. Monica Gandhi, the infectious disease expert at UCSF. Dr. Gandhi, nice to have you back on the program with us. We're working through some audio issues, so we'll do the old-fashioned yeah, way sorry about uh, that. with your phone here. It's okay. Uh, what, can, <laughs> what concerns you the most about these next few weeks here, doctor? You know, um, it is true that we're in a surge. It's true that we um, are having increased case rates and increased hospitalizations. Um, but I, and I think it has to do with the seasonality of the virus as well as people being together more. It's not just, this is actually what we see with seasonal viruses. Uh, we see these increase in cases and we also see that it's become more transmissible with time because of a mutation. So this is definitely happening, and uh, it's been a concerning time. Dr. Gandhi, the vaccine is almost here. Is there a false optimism, though, that this will all be over by next February or March? I don't think it's a false optimism. February or March is very, very soon, so it's not going to be over by then. But it isn't, um, it, it, it's true that this will be over. And the most important thing I want to say is that these vaccines are incredible. Their efficacy is so high. No safety concerns so far. Just got approved in the UK, the Pfizer vaccine. They are going to be rolled out and life will get back to normal. Until then, if we can just hold on with these non-pharmaceutical interventions, this masking, distancing, ventilation, hand hygiene, everything that we're doing. And Mar February and March is, is early, but we will get back to normal. Think about it more in the summer. Well, we are almost there. Doctor, uh, how much damage to our mental health, especially for teenagers and people who have just lost their jobs? I mean, I think that that is, we're going to be writing about this for years about the terrible impacts of isolation, loneliness, and especially teenagers and kids who don't, can't have been in school, in and out of school. Um, it has been a terrible time, and I really, I think we don't message enough. It will be over. I wouldn't have said that a month ago before the vaccine came out with this degree of efficacy. It would have been like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. This is wonderful. These vaccines are amazing. They are going to work. Uh, we are going to get there, and you will have a, people will have a normal life. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's going to happen. We asked you this back uh, seven months ago. I'll ask you again as we wrap it up. Are the doctors and healthcare workers, specifically at UCSF, uh, are they, in the sense, doing okay? Because now there's some burnout there on your end as well. I mean, you know, we have been more spared in the Bay Area than anywhere else. Um, we definitely have increased hospitalizations, but it's not to the levels that you see in the Midwest, not to the levels that you see in the Dakotas. We're lucky that way. But yes, people are tired. They are completely tired. We snap at each other a little more readily. People are a little more irritated, and we can't wait until this time is over. Well, thanks for your candid uh, responses there, and we wish you the Thank best. You. Thank you, Dr. Monica Condi from Thank UCSF. You. Thank you.